Right, I have 38 minutes on my phone. This video is not as long, guys. Sorry. Because I only have like 40% battery on my phone. What I'll do is I'll make a video now. And tomorrow I can make part two. Because I won't, I won't have enough time to talk about all four years. I have to sum it up too. Because I don't have, I, I don't have enough time, obviously. Then Peter has some and he calls for the costumes, armor, and weapons and machines for the mask. Best mass machines. Face mass machines. In the world, so that. <laughs> Let's see if anything pops up. Yeah, these are not good examples here, but I mean, I'm gonna get the best machines in the world for them for, for design the mask, man. Yeah, these are showing me... These are not good pictures. They're not good pictures. But that that will be an animal. Uh, yeah, think of like a, a better even design for the mask than that, man. Because I'm getting the best machines. If you want to print a lot, you have to get a couple. Get maybe four or four of them or five of them or something like that. Get like four or five machines. The, the best ones in the world will cost you maybe thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000, 60000 per machine. That way you print a lot every day for all the extras and the air. Print the ones for the main characters first, like Ariton all of them, and you have to you have to what? Because how you the, 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 how it works is the, the people design the mask outline on, on the computer, and then you, the, the machine prints prints the, the, the outline of the mask and everything. And the people have to now custom custom make it and all that stuff. See what I'm saying? Huh? To look like the console art pictures I showed you. It's a lot of work. He's like, we can just do CGI. I'm like, no, Peter, I don't want full CGI or attack. The movie will look a bit cheesy. I don't want, I don't want full, full CGI. You're just being lazy, Peter. No, I want him wearing the mask. That way he looks more natural like that pit, like that video I showed you. You see this video here, how he looks a bit more natural, but he looks very amazing. Yeah. You have them wear the mask and you apply the Vision Flex Awards. It looks even more amazing. I know what I'm doing. You get the bounce. So I'm sorry, huh? Then Peter has something that calls for the kitchen equipment and the uh, food. We're going to call the best farms in Switzerland. We're going to buy all the food. Please, I, you're serving them that kind of food? I'm like, yeah, man. Like hamburger sliders with pizza, all that stuff, man. Yeah, man. Looking at a, a top notch buffet. A top notch buffet menu, yeah, man. This has crazy. Sarah? Yeah, man. Now, after this video, I'm going to enjoy the show with you guys. This is not that long of a video, guys. Sorry. This is only like an hour and like 50 minute video. Because my battery was low. I didn't feel like waiting to charge it. I just, I, I want to make a video now. Because I have Axel left on now. He's still working, so what? Yeah. And then once... The script is now done, obviously, and the concert arts are done. Me and Peter, we made the calls for some of the main things, obviously, for most of the main things. I will do that barbecue party in my yacht, obviously. I'll say seventy million dollar yachts. I'll show you the yacht again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy. Here's my high tech. The one that design I show you, that's the one I want to get. I'll tell my significant other, yeah, yeah, significant other. This is the one I want to get. The other ones don't, don't look as nice as this one. This one, yeah, this one here. See what I'm saying? It looks like a knife. It's called, it's like a, it's like a giant knife yacht. It looks like a knife. Yeah, I like this design. This is really nice. This is like a 70 to 90 million dollar yacht. If it's 90 million, I'll buy it. That's fine. Anything over 90, you're being stupid with your money. Yeah, you see? This is a yacht I'm gonna buy, guys. Beautiful yacht, yeah, man. See that? Yeah, man. That's beautiful. That's where I'm gonna do my party with Peter and Fran. All when we when we finish the script, we celebrate. We do a barbecue uh, in my yacht, and we have a big party. Alcohol. Everyone gets drunk. Yeah, it was an amazing experience. My 17, Peter, Fran, all get drunk in my yacht. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Here's what. Here's another look of my yacht. See how nice that is? 
Beautiful, huh? Yeah. Is it a mega yacht? It's a it's a mega one, but it's not like a, a cruise ship, right? But it's a big yacht that can fit like I don't know, forty people in there, thirty people in there, right? You have a big yacht. I'm gonna be doing parties with the actors and all of them, so you need to have a big yacht. But I'm gonna have a high end yacht like that. Guys, look at look at look at the interior of that man. That's beautiful, huh? Imagine a yacht like that. I'm gonna own. Yeah, and that's where I do my parties with all the actors and Peter and all that when we finish writing the scripts. All that stuff. I only have enough. I only have enough time to talk about first year and second year. And I'll talk about third, fourth, or fifth year in another video, guys. And this is the interior of the yacht, guys. This is where I'm going to be doing my table reads for the actors. Sometimes we do it inside. Sometimes we do it outside. But imagine the actors doing table reads in, in here. We all have like a like three beers. And the, 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 the driver drives us in the ocean. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the actors are like, hey, spoiled. Yeah, holy shit, when Ivan's company is blows out of the water. Yeah, it blows out of the water. Ivan's company blows out of the water. Yeah, man. So once I'm done the script with Peter, that's when I what? That's when I what? I do the barbecue party with Peter and all of them. I'm Sarah. That's why I do the barbecue party with Peter on the Yeah. And after that, we have to sign the four groups of crewmen. The extras who worked on Lord of the Rings. You can hire those guys to handle all the extras in Switzerland, obviously. And then what? We have to, we have to um, hire what a workshop to work on the costumes and weapons, obviously, for the movie. The armor and weapons, and then costume designs to custom make all the all the costumes. Now for the costumes, I don't know what what what, what they're gonna wear, but you're looking at something fucking nice. I'll just say Lord of the Rings costumes. It's probably similar to Lord of the Rings. Yeah, you're looking at like I don't know what kind of costumes I'm gonna wear, but you're looking at like what you get in Lord of the Rings. That that's that's something similar to 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 to, to what. Yeah, he's not good examples. But Lord of the Rings is probably the best examples for the kind of clothes the, the, the characters are wearing in, in, in that kind of world. It's a fantasy world, right? So you have to... They wear a, a specific kind of clothing. I'm sorry? Yeah, so what a workshop. Richard Taylor is, a, is the head of... Is, is, is a supervisor of the company... Pay him a good three hundred thousand dollars. He makes like three fifty thousand in New Zealand money. It's a good paycheck for him. Because ours good paycheck for him because he's buying my script movie. You know what I'm saying? And the other supervisors pay them like two seven thousand dollars. They don't make that in Hollywood. They make like seventy five k in Hollywood. Yeah. And the costume designers, the supervisors get their two hundred to twenty k, two fifty k. The head costume designer, you can pay her two fifty to seven thousand dollars. And then all the assistants get one fifty k. The actors, the supervisors, get their two hundred plus thousand dollars. The assistants get 150k, some Sarah. And the mask designers too. You have to hire people who are gonna work on the mask. The art department, right? Yeah, I think I believe. You have to hire those guys to work on your mask. They're gonna be working three years straight, man. They have to create a lot of masks for the extras. They can pull it off in three years. And Aerotat. Design the ones for Aerotat and he feasts on them first, then the extras. Some Sarah. As John Howe and all of them have to design pictures for the main characters. And maybe a good like hundred different faces for the extras to have for ha to have variability in your movie, because even though the, the, those wolves are demons, they don't look they, they look like Eretat obviously, they don't look exactly like him because they're not the same person. Some Sarah, and you have to have a bunch of different face ideas. That's why John Hall only going to be harder working with Dirty Work. That's why I pay him like two twenty thousand dollars. Oh, they were hard for you, Some Sarah. You, you and Peter, Some Sarah. Please, I, I can't wait for your movie. I know, Peter. I'm excited too, man. Looking at a sick movie. A sick fucking movie. Yeah, man. Please don't fall down. The floor almost fell down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that's pretty much it. And then once me... Once...
And that's pretty much it for first year. And once me and 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 and, and Peter has to help me sign the uh, the head chefs. I'm gonna be signing first year, obviously, and he'll help me with the business calls, obviously, and the script. We'll do some rewrites after after we do that party, obviously, for the script, obviously. Then I'll start practicing my lines, and Peter has to now consult with the seven team, help him out with some business calls. I don't pay you ten million for nothing, but you have to help him out towards the end of the year. And then once the script is officially done, the two script writers have to now print all, a shitload of scripts, dirty fucking work for all this for the stars who are going to be flown in early second year. After New Year's, we now fly in all the stars. John Baega, Jimo Hansu, Andy Serkis, Idris Alba, Angelina Bassett. You know what I'm saying? All those guys. You have to fly them in to sign their contracts. They're massive contracts, yeah. And if their agents are greedy, I'm like, guys, man, this is enough. I'm not paying you more money, man. I just all might try and push for more. I'm like, I just, you're a minor character. I'm not going to pay you any more. I'm being very generous paying this already. I'm not paying any more money. I'm sorry. Because they're greedy people, obviously, man. And Peter, don't be fucking cheap, man. Pay Avon Jose is, is $3.5 million to $4 million. Don't pay him $500K. <laughs> right, that's, that's a good paycheck, man. This is more than what the doctors be. I'm like, Peter, don't be cheap, man. Pay him, five, pay him what? $3.5 to $4 million. Don't be cheap. Peter's greedy, man. Yeah, man. Avon Jose will be pissed off if you pay him that. And you won't work as hard. I have no work hard for me. Yeah, he'll work hard for you, but he's not getting that great of a paycheck. But Peter thinks it's good because he's blind by his greed for the movie, obviously. And because his Lord of the Rings made shitty money, he thinks it's good. I'm like, Peter, it's not that good. I mean, it's a good paycheck, man. I'm like, Peter, no. Pay him to see what we do. we fucking cheap. <laughs> I'm like, Peter, man, if you pay him this, we pissed off at you, man. I mean, who cares if he's pissed off? It's, it's, it's his problem. It's not our problem, I mean. <laughs> He gets paid for what he's worth. I'm like, Peter, you're fucking cheap, man. And, and, and being, you're being evil. Pay him if you want more dollars. It's not fair that you sign his deal when you're, you're paying him 500k. Don't be cheap. Avondra will be pissed off, man. <laughs> he's a Hollywood actor. He, he, wants, he wants to get his nice cars, like a Porsche and all stuff, and McLaren. Pay him a lot of money that we can get those cars. You pay him 500k, he can't get those cars. Yeah, but he can get like a $60,000 Porsche or BMW. That's good enough, I mean, I'm like... I'm like, yeah, for an average person who makes 200k, that's good enough. For a Hollywood celebrity, a $60,000 uh, 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 BMW is not that great. They want better cars. They want a Porsche. A $100,000 car, a $9,000 car. You see what I'm saying? Pay him that. The way he can get those cars. He can get a nice, like, he can buy a nice car or rent a, ni a nice a nice apartment for himself. Buy his nice clothes. This can last him for 10, 15, 20 years, Peter. I who get Rosenhaus will be fine, Ivan. I know, but fine. Yeah, I'll be fine. Like, why are you so why are you so concerned about him? It's not your problem, Ivan. He gets paid for what he's worth. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, Peter, 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 no. Pay him as you find more dollars. We fucking cheap. So I'm saying, because he's cheap and greedy, obviously. <laughs> Ivan, can I pay whatever I want? I'm like, no, Peter, you can't pay whatever. You have to you have to follow the, the payment structure that I have for my company. Don't pay him 500 k for the movie, man. That's a shitty paycheck, so I'm saying. It's not that, for a Hollywood celebrity, it's not that great. For an average person, that's a lot of money. That's a, that's a that's a really nice paycheck. But if you're a Hollywood celebrity and you work in Hollywood, five hundred k is not that great. Whereas if you get eleven million bucks, that's a lot. That's that's a, that's a shitload of money. You strike it rich. That's how much Aliases is making Hollywood. Big Aliases is making Hollywood. Yeah. Avon Jose strike it rich after his Aliases, obviously. And now he's he gets roles in Hollywood. He's now getting paid pretty good money. He's now he's now he's now set for life and he's taken care of. Because he, he got his millions in his bank. What I'm doing. Like he works harder for you than even your Lord of the Rings actors did for, for Lord of the Rings. Some I'm saying? Yeah. That's my point. Some I'm Yeah. Some Sarah? Yeah, so once the scripts are all printed, everyone celebrates their Christmas, obviously. Enjoy the holidays. And after New Year's, we start flying all the stars. We start flying all the stars in to sign their contracts, obviously. The main ones sign their contracts first. The, the, the main, like, 12. And then after that, what? After that, uh, you sign the rest of the minor, more minor characters. And you take them out to my dinner at Boston Pizza. I'll show you Boston Pizza, right?
all you guys in Canada, you know Boston Pizza. So it's like the number one Canada, uh, number one uh, like bar restaurant in Canada. The owner is Jim um, Tree Living, right? He does that show Dragon Den in Canada, which is like Shark Tank. And they have high-end food, man. Boston Pizza is a sports bar. Yeah. This is a kind of a food they serve. Wings, everything, right? That's the pizza, the wings, everything. That's where I'm doing my takeouts for my movie. Uh, a sports bar, right? A sports bar. I what about a fancy restaurant? No, I'm not a fan of fancy restaurants. I prefer sport bars. Do your takeouts at a sport bar where you can drink beer and like you have all that nice pizza, burgers, salad, and like wings and all that stuff for your takeouts. But I'm like, guys, you can only I know you're excited, you can only pick one meal. You I don't, I don't want you what? Ordering a bunch of food and wasting my fucking money. So I'm sorry, me and my single other's money. I'm paying for it out of my pocket. Well, no, it's paid through the through through, through the um the business account, but it's I, I put my money into this movie. Don't waste my fucking money. That's why when I talk about the secretary is make sure you don't eat too much. As the, the Ivan and all of them are gonna be what? Ivan and all of them are gonna be what? Taking off to my dinner at Boston Pizza. This is an idea of, of, of a restaurant in, 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 in a Boston Pizza restaurant, some sir. With nationwide in Canada, yeah, it's a sports bar restaurant with patios and everything. That's what I'm doing my takeouts for for Zanus. And then for the Grey Escape or Matrix, I'm doing mine at, mine at Montana's. I'll change it up. I'm not gonna do Boston Pizza for my movies, but Boston Pizza, this is this is the this is the what? The restaurant's gonna what host my uh host my takeouts. And so I'm making the restaurant a lot of money. As the takeouts are going to cost me like, I don't know, $150,000 in costs, which is pocket change, obviously. And so the restaurant made a 150 k off my takeouts. That's why the, the restaurant's going to love me, obviously. Ivan, mean, please, man, like, uh, host, have us be your host for your next week. I'm like, no, guys, I'm going to try a different restaurant. I'm not going to just go to Boston Pizza all the time, Yeah, You're going to be taking them to Boston Pizza uh, after they sign their contracts. So once they sign their contracts... I'm like, welcome to Zane's family, and everyone applies. They clap. I, 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 everyone applauds. They, 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 they clap their their hands. So I'm saying, everyone applauds. They clap their hands, obviously. And then what? And then they what? And then and then and then and then, and then, and then, and then we, we take them to the Boston Pizza. Yeah, man. We take them to the Boston Pizza, some Sarah. We take them to the Boston Pizza. And I thought they pirated up on my what? My 500 million Arcano cards. But Google doesn't give me good pictures here. I don't know what's going on here. These examples are not good. But I'm going to have like a penthouse, right? Like a nice like high-end penthouse. Yeah, these are not good examples. My, like, my, my condo is something like super, super high-tech, man. It's, it's out of this world, my condo, because 500 Manals is unheard of. These are like 50 million dollar condos. Houses that celebrities, some celebrities own, yeah. See, this is a 136 million dollar condo, but like... Imagine a high-end condo looking like like with an interior like that, but it, it, more high-tech than this. This is one thirty-six million. Some Sarah? Yeah. This is one thirty-six million dollars. Mine's five hundred million dollars. Hence the best example is Incredibles. The Incredibles, which I showed you, but I mean, I don't want to show you that clip because they might copyright it again. They might copyright it. these examples are not good here, guys. These are like thirty, forty, fifty million dollar mansions. That's when I'm going to do my six hour party. With the actors. We'll party with me for like six hours. Yeah, these examples are not good. Because these are all like what? These are all like 20, 10, 30 million Arcanos. They're not good examples, man. Mine's like high, high tech, man. Like Incredibles. 
I want to find that clip again. Don't mind if I do, right? I hope you just incorporate though, man. Oh, it was this one. There it is, I found it. <laughs> okay, you guys ready? Bro, guys, I am putting, I'm buying a 300 million dollar jet and I'm putting 10 million towards renovations and I'm putting 500 million dollars towards my, my Sula. That's why there's gonna be high end like this, man. I'm gonna show you this again. I'm gonna own guys a jet like this, man. I'm not kidding around. Like this, that's how top much is. I'll put the sound so you can hear, obviously. With the GPS, everything, man. It's gonna be top notch. You guys ready? You guys already know the clip. This is how top much I come with you guys. <laughs> My jet and everything. I'm not kidding around. It's like this. It's like you I'm, I'm I'm owning a jet like Incredibles. Yeah, man, look at this. Is your automated captain? Would you care for more mimosa? Don't mind if I do. Thanks. Jelly like that, guys. <laughs> I'm not getting around. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? My suit. You have my suit brought there. You know what I'm saying? You have a high. It won't go under the island, but it's like a high end. It's a high end. You see the doors? That's how high tech my car will be. Yeah, man. It won't go under the under the water, obviously. Not like that, obviously. There's something high tech. Yeah, you see those doors? Yeah, that's how high tech my condo will be, guys. <laughs> Why would you know is unheard of towards a condo, yeah, man? Yeah. And automatic doors, yeah, man. Pictures after my secretary, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. See that? <laughs> yeah. Remember that lady? She's like, nice suit. Yeah, think of some of that for my secretaries. They're my they're, 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 they're my employees and all of so they're my secretaries, my secretaries, yeah. And I, I'll hire, me and my sibling and other are gonna hire assistants, obviously. Some woman assistants, obviously, that, to do the, 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 the matching for the clothes, all that stuff, right, yeah. See that, guys? That's how top notch my what? My company be, guys. That's why it will blow out of the water. Sky Source Entertainment will blow Hollow out of the water. Yeah, man. Scarf's entertainment will blow hot out of the water. It was in top notch. It was in top notch, man. Yeah, man. That's how top notch my company will be, obviously. So, second year, me and my student other were no longer in the office. We now have to practice our lines every morning from, I don't know, 9 to like 12 o'clock. In the afternoon, or one o'clock in the afternoon, and we have to do, and then we have to do, uh, sign the actors. Uh, the rest of the crewmen, my 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 two scripts were was gonna sign the rest of the the Lord of the Rings, Hobbit crewmen, all those guys. So I'm saying, huh? And me and my sister have to practice on lines every morning from like nine to like one o'clock. We can practice every morning, every day. We have to practice every day. Every day. That way we prepare for the role. And then the seventeen will be in the office making a shitload of business calls for all the movie. We have to make the calls for the ad shoots. You know what I'm saying? They have to book the hotels, obviously, for all those crewmen in Switzerland prepping the four groups of crewmen prepping. So we have to put the hotels, limo services, the feeding services for buffet. They have to also make a bunch of other business calls. The photography, the photography, the photography studio for the five ad shoots, and the commercial equipment too. The green screens, it's a lot of work. Shipping everything to Switzerland, they have to start making those calls. Yeah. The account will be busy punching all the contracts all year long. They're, they're hard at work doing dirty work, but I don't pay all the money for nothing. I have to work hard. So I will not be in the office second year. I'm going to be in my condo with my sibling and other, you know what I'm saying? Practicing our lines together, you know what I'm saying? And then what? And they also have to make the calls for the training year, the, the sponsoring of the clothing for the ad shoes, and the sponsoring of the training year for the train, for the actors' training, book the gym. It's a lot of work, man. They have, they have to start prepping to, 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 to they have to find a hotel to book where, where they're going to book for the actors 30 when they train too. 
Shipping everything to Switzerland is a lot of work. You have to make all those calls, man. The takeouts, too. You have to book Boston Pizza. It's a lot of work. I'm not doing that delivery. You're doing the work. I pay a lot of money. You have to, you have to work hard. Some Sarah. You have to work hard. You have to work hard, Some Sarah. You have to work hard, obviously. And then Peter, once Peter helps me sign the actors, the cinematographers, and the visual effects team, obviously. Peter, um, you can fly him home for maybe a month. He can spend time with his family. And he'll join all those crewmen in, 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 in Swiss. And he has to start overseeing it with Fran and get a motor and all of them starting second year. I don't pay you time for nothing. You have to work hard, Peter. And third year is when everyone is in Switzerland. And Peter has to oversee all that, too. With the seven team and then Fran and all of them. And Barry Oswald and all of them. And the supervisors have to oversee their own section. The peer and, and, and the producers have to, have, to, have to keep track of everything. What came in, it's a lot of work. Did all the food come in? You don't. You have to make sure we have enough food to feed everyone, obviously. All the alcohol come in. All the, the drinks come in. The trailers come in. The portable bathrooms. The portable showers. Portable laundry machines. The body wash, the cameras, the tools, the machinery tool equipment for building the sets, all the equipment for the sets, the trees, the dirt, everything. Peter has to keep track of all that. But to take the trust of him, you have the seven team help him out a lot, and, and the, the, the supervisors oversee their own section. That's the best way to make it work. Well, I'll be in Vancouver with my significant other. Um, um, I'm practicing my lines seven days a week and I'll be doing the takeouts and paring it up like five days a week for a whole year <laughs> Yeah, you drunk like five days a week for a whole year, but a seven team can't get drunk with me every day. You only get drunk with me What twice a week and that's it some Sarah It's not good for you guys. You don't have the genetic perks that me and my sibling other have I don't have to worry about dying from like from alcohol poisoning or having a damaged liver. No, I have a second cup I have a genetic perks that you don't have. Ivan, mean, how come you can't get all these bad diseases on me? Because I'm the source of life. I'm the very thing that created everything in the world. The source of life that created everything in the world is living in my fucking body. Hence why I'm 100% I'm, I'm healthy. I have no diseases. I'm 100% healthy. I can drink. I drink every day, guys. I've been drinking every day since May of last year. Eight months, pretty much. I'm perfectly fine. Sometimes I might feel, sometimes when I eat food, I feel a bit of a pain in my stomach, obviously. But I'm fine from the smoking and drinking, but I'm fine. Now, I smoke a lot. And when I run, my lungs are fine, everything. Yeah, and I've been smoking for almost six years now. My lungs are fine. Some Sarah? Well, Ivan, please, man, we want to, we, we, we want to what? We, we want to party up you five days a week. I'm like, no, guys. No. Some Sarah? Let me show you Grand Mizzle. Let me show you Grand Mizzle again. To get an idea how beautiful my property of land will be. This is it for the two years of Zanus, right? I summed it up, and tomorrow I'll talk about third year and fourth year about production, all that stuff. Since Sarah. Let's do Rad Brad again. I'll mute it here. We don't hear his voice. His Salvin voice, obviously. I'm so excited to play this game. <laughs> and let's get this. <laughs> Not a bad impression, huh? <laughs> All right, it's here. The last hope for Zanus. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so excited to play this game. I'd like to thank Sky Source for hooking up a free copy of this game. <laughs> yeah. You know what to do. <laughs> I guess not my impression, Rabbi. Yeah, it's not bad. I'm saying. Yeah. Okay, I want to show you the day picture first. This is the day picture, guys. Look, yeah, I'm gonna have like, because um, BC is surrounded by a lot of mountains, right? Um, hence why my property land is most likely gonna have a mountain view, and it's a it's, it's a waterfront property. This is what I want my my sewer to look like, guys. Something beautiful. Look at that, guys. Look at that. That's my idea for the sewer lock, guys. You see the uh, the plains. There near the water, the the yacht, the docking area. Yeah, something beautiful. Yeah, that's what it looks like during the day. Yes, yeah, so you have to cut down a lot of trees, do uh, gardening work, landscape work. It's a lot of work. You know what I'm saying? Piercing, this is your land, your sewer. I'm like, yeah, he's like, holy shit, that's fucking nice, man. 
Like, man, like, I, I feel like the luckiest man in the world working in, in, a, in a nice environment like this. Yeah, this is burning Hollywood. Yeah, it's burning Hollywood, Peter. Better than fucking New Line, yeah. I'll show you it during the nighttime. Nighttime looks even more nicer, right? Did I miss? Okay, I... Give me a sec, guys. I'm waiting for the thing to pop up. Okay. Yeah. See this, guys? Yeah. This is what my Sula look like, guys. You see the docking area where the yacht is, near the water. You see the planes. You see the uh, all the buildings. I'm not going to have that much buildings. I'm going to have, like, maybe four buildings. But that's how top much my Sula will be, guys. Yeah, it's going to be fucking nice like that. Look at that. See how beautiful it is? Yeah, man. Something fucking nice. Something nice, my damn That's how top notch. My comic be guys. And Peter will be shocked. Like, Holy shit, I mean, your company's top notch. Like, you have a 500 minute studio lot, like Incredibles. A high end jet, like Incredibles. I show you that clip, guys, yes. And I have a, a high-end Sula Baron Hollywood. And I'm funding my movie for $1.2 million. The biggest budget movie ever. I gave Peter unlimited resources. He's all happy. All right, you gave me unlimited resources. Yeah, I'm not going to have a guy. I'm not going to have a guy. 